What is going on guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. Today we're going to be hopping back on the Tesla Cyberquad project. I finally got the last piece that I needed in order to take it out and safely do a top speed run and that is the CX50 battery connector. It's very specific. I was not able to find it anywhere in stock in the US so this one had to come from China. These Tesla Cyberquads come with these lithium battery packs that slide in and out of the back of the subframe and the owner wanted to keep that function. So the only way to do that is to get one of those CX style connectors that bolt onto the body. So let's go put that thing on. Now that we have the CX connector wired to the controller with an inline fuse, this is a 30 amp. I'm gonna slip this into the battery port area and secure it in place with this mount. It looks like it's 3D printed. This came with the CX connector. I can't say I'm too impressed about the quality of this adapter, but it is literally the only option that we have. And as long as it works and it properly secures the battery connection in place, I'm gonna be totally fine with it. And this is what it looks like on the back side. So the battery just slides in there and connects to those two pins. All the wiring's tucked, got plenty of clearance under the seat. charge should be good to take this thing out and to measure top speed i just mounted on a psych plus gps based speedometer which is what i use to measure speed on all of my bikes it reads 49 miles an hour on my Talaria xxx once i had that thing calibrated so it is very accurate if you are interested in checking out any of the items that I used for this project, I will have everything linked in the description below. This thing does take a little bit of time to get some signal whenever it's cloudy outside. All right, looks like I got some signal. Let's turn this thing on. I'm gonna start in the middle setting. The handling on this thing is pretty awkward though. Handling is pretty twitchy. I wouldn't recommend going more than 20 miles an hour on this thing in general.
this thing definitely goes over 22 miles an hour. I'm curious to see how fast it goes in reverse. All right, this is not. Holy shit. This thing is super sketch going backwards. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try that. <laughs> All right, top speed was 23.3 miles an hour. guys we did it we got this tesla cyber quad that was previously disabled back on the road with double the speed for less than 300 dollars using the original lithium battery pack the only things that i have not hooked up yet is the front light bar and the brake light i have not confirmed that those are safe to run on 36 volts and the new controller does not have a 12 volt power source so let me know if you guys have any suggestions i was considering wiring in a voltage step down converter but I got to talk to the owner of this first to see what his long-term plans are with this because I might add more accessories. One thing I did notice while riding it is we sacrifice a little bit of low-end torque for trade-off of higher top speed. And that's simply because of the aggressive gearing here. One thing I could do to increase the lower end torque is to step down this 11 tooth front sprocket to a 10 tooth which may give up like two miles an hour off the top speed but it will add a little bit of low end torque or the other option which is my opinion the better option is to replace this 36 volt battery with a much larger 60 volt lithium battery pack to mount in the center of the frame which will lower the center of gravity and increase the overall capacity and range. Combine that with a higher output brushless controller to overbolt this current motor, which will give this thing a lot more torque and a higher top speed overall, but that's totally up to Anton. If you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful in any way, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you like this kind of content, want to keep up with some of my projects, any of my bikes, any of my rides, consider subscribing to this channel. But this is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching.